We have friends. Yes. Today. It's lovely. You've been really just making it happen here without another person in this seat. So what you gotta do what you gotta do. Talking to your friends while you're making it work. But it's Isn't Monday. Isn't this what like influencer life is? That you just talk to yourself, even though you're talking to the camera and you post about yeah, it. Yeah, I think there's a lot of that because we're, we are. We've got our friends watching. Yes. It's not all just about. We who's wish in we here could see studio. you guys. Yeah. You know, one day we're gonna look back at this video, hopefully ten years from now, and everybody's gonna be able to pop up on the side like a Zoom call and be like, "Hey, right, we're friend. all gonna be there. It's gonna be <laughs> yeah, so much more interactive, right? Hey, but it's a big day around Fox 26 because. Fox Local is now on your cell phone, y'all. Yeah, this is, listen, we've been waiting for this day because when they came to us, I don't know, a couple years ago, yes. year and a half ago, I don't remember how, when it was, when they came to us and said, listen, this is what we're going to do. We're going to push Fox Local for your smart TV. And everybody was like, well, what about your phones? Yeah. Nope, not your phones. No, guess your what? Your smart TVs. Watch us. They they knew they needed time. it on the phone though. But it's are we on there? Are you yes. See us? Okay. I see us. I except see it us doesn't there. want to turn sideways. But anyway, we're right there. Hey, now listen. Is a little figuring out that I've noticed that we're going to have to do on there because yes. like the weather information isn't as just straightforward. You kind of have to click in the thing, and it, it's not super yeah. complicated. You'll you'll be able to figure it out. But yeah. if you haven't got Fox Local on your device, your phone. Uh, it's, it's so awesome. It. Yeah, no, I mean, it's everything it, you want. It, it really is. It's totally video driven. Yes. But there is some more text, text information that they throw in there, I think, when it's needed. Mm -hmm. But it's it's a really, um, it's a pretty platform, right? It's and very look, attractive. It does closed what? captioning. So it's captioning us right now. Oh, try to say something that's not very easy for it to know. Well, Gargaro, they, they just can't <laughs> ever get that right. Oh, okay. Well, okay. We're going to push like Fox vacuum or something, but okay. Vacuum. I don't know. That just, I'm not sure why that popped up over. Did it? Okay. Clearly I'm a little behind, but oh, right. Bradley Sorry. just said yeah. Gargara was right on there. So we need to come up with super califragilistic XBL. We, yeah. We have to figure out what they have trouble with um, on there and we'll definitely make But you guys, this is awesome because it's going to be all up to you shows for you everything that you want to watch you just oh, click yeah. on caroline and rashi well guess what there it is they're all there yep so it's kind of like a netflix but for fox yeah and it's not so so yeah just to be clear you've got all of the streaming information yes. that's there the live stuff like what we're doing right now yeah. live but then it has a lot of the video on demand stuff sure. and then also even just like um it's sort of a, a nice combination of like a website and an, a regular app because like video stories from this morning will also be on there mm -hmm. and that you can see that's again yes. video on demand i guess you'd say but in a shorter form it's kind of like the highlights from the morning okay you want to know like the biggest stories you can just click on there, watch them one, two, three. So it's just a few minutes of your time rather than I totally understand if you have family, you have kids trying to get them out the door. It's difficult to yeah. watch, but keep up to date. And we're not supposed to tell you to get rid of the Fox 26 app yet, yet. but it's coming. He's just letting yeah. you know Fox local is where we're going with yeah. all this. So, so you still have yeah. a little bit of time yeah. to get used to it, but local. it's awesome on your phone. Yep. You can watch us anyway. And again, it's just, it's, I don't know the technicalities as far as like compressed video and live and stream, but but it's good quality video. Yes. It really is. It's, oh it's a, yeah. It's, it's just it's a it's a an attractive platform that I think that it's, that it, it pre presents it on. So um, yeah, get. And it's only going to get local. better too. You oh know how sure, that... yeah. It, th we're going to have some tweaking because I brought up a few questions about the, some of the weather information mm -hmm. and. Um, there's some folks taking notes on we're going to figure that which out which is great you know, so yeah we're going to we're so going we'll to get, get it there better. and you know a lot of the weather content that we've had over the last week has been from hurricane oh, milton sure and you know we've covered it before landfall at landfall after and then now it's all about the cleanup so President Joe Biden did visit Florida for the first time after Milton made landfall, and he was getting a firsthand look at the complete path of destruction that we saw from not only the hurricane, but also the tornado. So just moments ago, I'm talking less than 20 minutes ago, I actually interviewed our Fox correspondent Kennedy Hayes on what she's seen out in St. Pete. So let's take a look. 
We continue to monitor the cleanup across the entire state of Florida from Hurricane Milton. And let me tell you, this is only the beginning. Folks from coast to coast across the state cleaning up from storm surge, strong winds, heavy rain, and even those tornadoes. But I do want to bring in our Fox correspondent, Miss Kennedy Hayes, and you're live in St. Pete Beach. How does it look there? And what's the mood from folks that are starting to clean up after the aftermath? Well, Allison, I can tell you this area of St. Pete Beach saw some of the strongest winds during Hurricane Milton, along with some of that storm surge that brought some flooding and several feet of sand burying some roads. But overall, there is still a lot of work to do. And President Biden described some of the sentiment here from people who own businesses or homes in this area as, quote, heartbroken and exhausting. And so, Kennedy, what? was behind you. So I know that it looks like the roof was completely blown off, but have you talked to folks? Was this a spot that was maybe a go to for some locals? And now, uh, I mean, not much of the buildings left. Allison, I actually ran into one of the managers of this business. He told me it is a center that holds ships that has been here for quite some time. And actually what you're looking at is a combination of Milton and Helene. So he explained to me that the initial damage, one side of the building, which is the opposite side to what you're looking at now, completely came off during Hurricane Helene. And then when Milton came through, the other panel that you see right in front of you completely blew off. They were trying to keep it together and essentially Milton just made the mess worse. So I've watched as crews have worked to clean up the mess this morning. You can see they're continuing to clear the debris. Uh, but overall, the business owner said that uh, it's going to take at least a week to get some kind of normal normalcy back again. Oh my goodness, it's just so hard to see. Uh, have you talked to anybody that lives there? And obviously, you know, hopefully they are okay. But what's the mood? Do they feel um, glad that they can start to clean up? Because it looks like the weather is nice and clear there today. Well, throughout the morning, I've sort of overheard conversations from neighbors here. Uh, a lot of the sentiment has been, you know, how are you doing? And the response has been the best, the best I can, the best I can right now. And in terms of the cleanup, a lot of what you see driving around in this neighborhood are those piles and piles of personal belongings outside of homes. And again, that message that Milton made the mess worse. So a lot of the personal belongings you see were left over from Helene. And when Milton came through, just scattered about. Oh, and I bet that's so difficult. You know, I used to live in Florida. I've covered a lot of these storms and the cleanup takes a while. We're not talking just weeks, but likely months ahead. So we appreciate your uh, your reporting so much, Kennedy. Please stay safe. I'm so glad the sun's out for everybody there. And you know, you're wearing a jacket, so temperatures must not be too bad there this morning. No, I can tell you that it's, it's a little breezy, but I might have to take this jacket off soon because the temperatures have been going up <laughs> quite quickly. Well, thank you so much, Kennedy Hayes. You have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Well, great an interview with Kennedy there, and she had mentioned sand that piled up. Yeah, that came from the hurricane into neighborhoods along Florida's west coast. Now, just two weeks ago, Hurricane Helene left behind feet of sand as well as that water, and it's only gotten worse when Milton came on shore. Now, officials say the best way to describe all the sand is like getting four to six feet of snow. And if you've ever lived up north, uh, boy, that's not easy to clean up. Now, residents had feared the loss um, from sand along the beach, but it left more than just erosion. Those piles may have actually helped shield some homes from more damage. So could you imagine that that was actually a positive because at least homes didn't get completely, you know, tore away from all of that. I kept right. looking for the shot that I've seen the most commonly is the it's this one of like it's a swimming pool and you've got the little fence and it has the little sign on the gate that says like no diving three feet or whatever, but it's got sand all the way up to that. Oh, side, where it's just goodness. like the whole pool is filled has been, like the whole area has been filled with sand, including the pool and including up even on the fence line. I've seen that shot and yeah, those of those of us who were here for Hurricane Ike um, we remember the same thing. It was a big storm surge event and down in the west end of Galveston, particularly all that sand came up and just 
like they had you, the the roads weren't even yeah, there, no. right? They had to bring the 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 big equipment in there just to get the sand out of the road yeah. so that, to know where the road was. Because yeah. it's not like it's water that's either going to run off or evaporate. No. This is going to just sit there and. Yeah. Not and me. also, you've seen it where it's in people's homes, right? Where like, in, yes, just that like is flood crazy. Water, where it's like in their home, a foot of sand. That's just even mind boggling. You have to remove that, you know, Ugh, to kind of get that it's going. It's so on. heartbreaking to yeah. see. But you guys take a look at this video. Get out. Yikes. All right. That was a good move to get out. You heard that, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's what I would be doing when you start hearing that. This is the Melbourne Orlando Airport getting some damage from Milton. It happened while the storm passed and the airport staff says that the hole about 30 feet by 40 feet. Oh. Wow, that really just came down, right? Uh, and fortunately, no one was hurt. It looks like they had it kind of roped off a little bit there, right? You could see where they were kind of planning for that. And uh, yes, uh, the airport is uh, back and open. Uh, whether or not that hole is closed, I haven't heard a report on that, but that is, yeah, that's. Oh my goodness. We talk about getting to your safe place and that is a good reason why. Well, Hurricane Milton forcing a Florida couple to start over just six days after closing on their dream home. Oh my goodness. They were inside the house in Palm Beach Gardens when a tornado hurled a two ton dumpster onto the roof. They hid in the bathroom and thankfully were not hurt, but um, you just closed on your dream home. What do you even do after that? Goodness, that is just so sad, but thankfully, they're okay. That's the number one most important thing. And can you imagine being in the house when that landed no. on the house? Because you would be like, I think a dump truck landed on our house. And then you go outside. And in fact, there is a dumpster uh, that is sitting on top of your house. It's so sad. I got to tell you, though, um, that's a little bit of a, uh, a, a, a good piece of video for the home builder, right? Yeah. Like, Look, our houses are, are pretty tough. You can drop a dumpster on it and... Uh, you, you people are inside are still okay. I mean, that's, yeah, that, and it looks like they're still under construction uh, even a lot of them now. Yeah, so maybe some of the tiles got ripped off of the roof mm -hmm. with some of the winds, but hey, it held up. I mm -hmm. think I'm pretty impressed by that. All right. And we have some more footage of uh, we'll call it shocking footage mm -hmm. uh, is what we've got. Uh, it's going to be the moment in a Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputies saved those stranded in floodwaters, and this is from Hurricane Milton. Okay, you gotta come over here to the stairs. Yep, it, it is cold. Yeah, give me your hand. Okay, it's gonna get nice. deep. Okay, here, come, come to me. Come climb over here if you can. You're good. Okay. I'm so thankful for these vehicles oh. like that. Do you see that vehicle that they're loading people yep. into? Got high the dog. Vehicles. Don't leave the dog. Good move. Yeah, those high water vehicles like that are impressive. So offers approach several homes, helping both people and their pets get through the flooded streets and to a safe location. Uh, some of them uh, by a rescue vote, but also obviously some of those vehicles. And again, this yeah. is such a process uh, of how you know you go through and uh, make sure that everyone is is safe like that. And the thing is, you got to remember that's Florida. You do not know what's in those waters. Is it an alligator? Is it an anthill? Is it a live wire that came down because of the winds? That's what's just so scary. And for folks, Hillsborough County, I mean, portions of that is inland. So mm. maybe folks weren't even in the evacuation zone, but it just shows that the floodwaters, you just, oh, you got to stay safe. Yeah, it's oh, so scary to see. But yeah, and like you say, you got to stay in in your home like this until somebody else gets there that, you, that can take you to for sure to a safe. Place. Yeah. Well, the hurricane, the impacts from Hurricane Milton were felt even here in Texas. Take a look at this video shot in Port Aransas, and you can see that there was even a bit of storm surge hitting the coastline and blanketing the beach at Port A, where drivers often drive. Because you can drive on the beach here. Oh, yeah, totally. Down in Port Aransas, you drive on the beach. So, I mean, that's just so crazy to see. You know, obviously, Texas got nothing compared to what Florida did. But the fact that it's all interconnected, you know, the Gulf of Mexico. It's a you big have body of water.
everything going on. And it's just crazy to see, you know, all the rescues. That man that was on a cooler right. in the middle of the Gulf yep. when a Category 3 hurricane is coming your way. I, yeah, that's, uh, I, I still haven't heard the whole story on all that. Uh, yeah, uh, just amazing some of the, the, how everything has been. A lot of rescues here that we're looking at. I'm glad people didn't necessarily need to be rescued here. Um, uh, with those uh, impacts that were felt in Port Aransas. Yeah, it's just truly incredible to see. Well, obviously we've covered a lot <laughs> of Hurricane Milton, but coming up after the break, we're talking space. I'm ready for some space talk. There's some really cool video. Oh, tell me, oh, what are we going to show? I don't know exactly what we're showing The here. booster oh landing. God. I was hollering last night at that, just like the uh, all the other, I mean, it is Crazy! If you haven't seen this video, oh man, this is so impressive. You're going to want to stick around. Fox 26 is. Anonymous. The Fox 26 YouTube page. Like and subscribe today. Okay, guys, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Now, I want to preface, I used to you live... the graphics for the I space know. block, right? I like it. So, I used to live in Orlando. I've seen so many launches, boosters landing, and it never gets old. I'm a little jealous over here. Uh, yeah, I've, I... I have yet to see that. I planned a trip one time to see one of the last space Gotta shuttles, go. and they, you know, they had to postpone Scrub. it. So it's just that's the worst. It's just Disney. We didn't get the uh, <laughs> darn. You can go on Space Mountain. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, so this was quite a historic moment for SpaceX. The company hit a new milestone over the weekend with its fifth Starship test flight. Yeah, um, and after the uh, booster separated, so remember, that's just, it's got two parts to it, right? So after the booster separated, it returned and to land on the pad where it was launched. It, it went back to where it was launched. Exactly. I know. Landing burn. Five minutes ignited. We're now down. I just got the chills. I just have to watch this. Okay, 
the 400 foot empty rocket blasted off down, you know, in, in South Texas there near the near the border on Sunday morning. And after the booster separated, so you could see the 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 uh, actual rocket. I forgot the name of that you, that part of the rocket though. When it takes off, um, it's separated from the Starship. That's what I'm trying to say. The Starship is what they call that top section. It successfully returned and landed to the pad where it was launched. Enormous metal arms, called the chopsticks, went out <laughs> and caught the booster safely. And then they're going to be able to reuse it again. The spacecraft, uh, it launched... The spacecraft, oh yeah, the spacecraft that it launched, the Starship, uh, it did splash into the Indian Ocean, just like it was planned. And SpaceX plans to eventually use the rocket to take people to the moon and to the Mars. And That's crazy. And I'll also say this, a lot of times when SpaceX does things, they don't, it doesn't happen the first try, right? That's part of their plan. They don't mind yeah. messing up. They don't mind. That's part of their, their business model. Do it when no model. humans are on. Exactly. So sometimes their things blow up, right? We've seen that. This was their first try. This is the first try that they had to bring that rocket back to the pad like and that. It went off and, um, without a hitch. Nailed it. Happened. So if you ever go, well, first off, message me if you need restaurant <laughs> recommendations. But it's really cool. You go to this place called Fish Lips. Just trust me, very good restaurant. But this it's, is in Orlando. That yes, we're this okay, is right. down um, right near where all this the isn't, This is in Orlando. No, 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 yeah, that wasn't. Right, right. But if you do go to Orlando to yeah, see yeah. it, you sit at this restaurant and the booster will have landed and it comes in on a big barge. And I, the booster's just r going right by you and you're having lunch out on the water. It's so cool. Wow, so you have you have seen them land on the... Um, well, I guess well, I've seen the video of it land, him. but then okay. when it, I've seen it come in before, we didn't right, even right. know one was coming in and we're like, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. But, and then one time we were kayaking and you can do like a guided kayak tour on NASA property because it's so large. Oh, yeah. And there was a heavy rocket going off and you can feel your on your chest. And we were like, oh my gosh. And everyone just stopped. It was so you cool. You didn't know? No, we had just gotten there. So we didn't realize how often they were happening. I mean, literally it was like one of our first months there. It was really cool. I'm hopeful so. someone was able to tell you, hey, uh, this is no big deal. Yeah, it's, it's no big, it's fine. <laughs> wow. When you can see it from your house. Okay, well more on SpaceX. The Dragon Crew 8 will stay up in space a little bit longer. SpaceX said weather conditions were unfavorable, which is why they chose to stand down from undocking from the ISS. Now Sunday's mission was originally set to happen sooner, but Hurricane Milton obviously changed those plans. SpaceX says they will continue to monitor the weather conditions, but an official new date for the undocking has not been announced at this time people they got on the, the ship the ISS up there that's the biggest crew I've ever seen I know it's crazy. I don't know if that is the biggest crew but I'm just like I've never seen that many people in one camera shot like that. all right and NASA's mission to Jupiter is scheduled to launch today the space ship will do multiple flybys of the planets uh, and its moon Europa researchers are looking for an ocean believed to be hidden beneath the moon's icy surface and determine if it has conditions capable of supporting life. It'll take more than five years to get there. The launch wi window opens up just after noon today. Where will you be in five years, JD? Uh, well, probably right here. Sitting next <laughs> to you. No, I, uh, I sure I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll be in the space city somewhere. That's for sure. I could certainly. Isn't that there. weird to think it's like, okay, this is coming in five years, but like, that's a long time from now. I know. Uh, yeah, I could be a grandfather in five years. I think that's a realistic, uh, that'd be a yeah. different thing than I am right now. That's something that could happen or. I hope I will be a craziness. mom of several kids See? by then. There's all sorts of and changes. several dogs, but you'll be here, right? Oh yeah. Okay, good. We're not good. leaving. <laughs> No way, Jose. Well, I mean, it's just so cool and fun that we get to talk about space. I and, know, right? That's a fun part of the job. And there was a comet that went through. I didn't see any video, but hopefully we can get some video. I think the comet was yesterday morning. Sounds good. I'll go with that. I can't argue yeah, that. So we're going to, we'll try to get some video for you guys and show you on Forecasting with Friends tomorrow. But there's always something. Yep. Always Never got Never ceases it. to amaze me. And we're here every day yeah, so right. we always have these box local <laughs> always Don't have forget. these opportunities yeah so if you're not at the house feel free fox local
Take we'll us with you be here. wherever you are. That's the thing. You can always expect us forecasting with friends at 11 and always expect your tropical update at 4. Yep. We've got you covered on both ends. Always. Well, speaking of an update, we will have your forecast update coming up just after the break. Fox 26 is. The Fox 26 YouTube page. Like and subscribe today. Record highs today. We did not beat a record yesterday, JD. No, but we did not. But College Station did. 98. Yeah, that was ridiculous. I, and I realized that while I was on the air last night, you know, because we had the, the baseball game, so things were a little late. And then I was probably we were on the air, and I was like, wait a minute, we, we set a record in College Station. 98, that's ridiculous. Yeah, like, excuse me. Yeah. So... Probably not record breaking heat tomorrow, maybe close, but it's still going to be warm, but pleasant guys highs in the 70s. Bring it. I just can't believe we're even saying that. And then humidity comes up this weekend. So really it's going to be peak fall temperatures Wednesday and Thursday. So please for us get outside and enjoy and we'll be back tomorrow. You get two days. See you guys. See ya.